Hello lovely people, welcome back to Ravi's Focus Hive. Today we are going to talk about seeking help, how to ask for help. Uh, there has been a lot of situations where people have come in and asked, uh, can you help me do this or can you help me with that or can you help me, I'm in trouble and that's part of life. I do that, you do that, everybody does that because everyone needs help once in a while in their life. Now, what is the probability that you ask for help and you get it immediately and you get quality help? 50-50, 60-40, 70-80, there's nothing called 70-80, 80-20, 70-30, Well, I have a strategy here that is going to help you seek help and get quality help and in my own experience whoever I have shared this with I've applied it myself and uh, out of 100% of the times I believe about 65 to 70 percent of the times we end up not asking for help because when we go through this strategy, we figure out that we are able to solve it ourselves. It's just that we take little time or all we need is someone to give us moral support, not help. So this is a very important strategy that I'm going to share with you today. It's very simple. It just has three W's to it. And uh, if you follow these three W's, uh, or if you just think about these three W's before you go and ask for help from anybody, uh, things would be very simple for you. So let's decode the strategy. And uh, it is, what do you want in very specific terms? Hey, can you help me with a job? Not a specific question. Hey, can you help me get into any support and in industry? I'm okay to start as a fresher. Specific question. Hey, can you help me? I don't have money. Can you give me some money? That's a very specific question, but I think when it comes to monetary help, money help, why is the second why of my three W's? We'll spend a minute on that. It's very important when it when it comes to monetary help. But anything other than monetary help, you need to be very specific when you're asking for it. So you ask help for job, you ask help for mentoring someone, you ask help for be being a guide, uh, you ask someone on the road to help you put the luggage somewhere, uh, you help someone, you ask someone for a, a directions on the road. If you are specific and if you have right address with you and if you ask someone they'll be able to tell you exactly how you have to reach there and if you're just gonna ask them vague question as to um, where is goal building well there are many goal buildings for those who don't know goal building there's a goal building in my native and that was a landmark uh, in my address so that's why it came out automatically so <coughs> We are still in the first W, which is what. So you need to be very specific about what you need help with, right? If you are within a support organization and you're stuck solving some problem, you want to ask for help to someone else to help you solve that problem, then you need to be specific about what is the problem, what is your understanding of it, how do you, how have you tried to solve it, all of that, right? Because it's very important that the person who's going to help you with this understands the whole background. So it's very important that you understand what you want when you're seeking help. That is the number one W of my three W strategy. Number two is why. Why do you need help has, we have to get a little deeper into it is because when you're in the why section, when you're, when you're figuring out why about your help or about your situation, 
you need to understand you need to ask a very important question is it that is it urgent for you what I mean is you need money is it super urgent for you that you need money because someone has put a gun on your head and you have to pay him or else he will just shoot you that's super urgent for you situation for you and you definitely need money from someone if you don't have yourself and you don't have enough time to kind of generate money from somewhere else so that's that's a super cool situation to ask someone for money but if you have time instead of asking someone for money uh, there are places where you could generate money I mean if you have time okay if you have assets using those assets you can generate some money for yourself and and you don't have to ask anyone else similarly if, if you have a deficit of some skill and you need to solve some problem today you don't have the, that skill but you don't have to solve it right now you can solve that problem in let's say a couple of weeks that's you're writing a piece of code and you're stuck at some uh, algorithm or, or some logic that you're stuck on it's very simple we'll google it and get the answer if we are still not able to get an answer we'll look for a specialist and we'll just go and tell them hey I'm stuck there and they will help you with that or they will tell you do this use that logical uh, statement and it will be solved but uh, if you have a, 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 a timeline with you where you can solve it I would say why don't you spend a little more extra time to acquire that skill yourself uh, if you have enough time and then solve it you really don't need to go and ask anyone else and uh, if you learn it at that point of time you will never forget it that skill will be forever forever with you right so time is very important factor when you're questioning or when you're thinking about the why part of your health of your situation so if you have time you can either generate that skill acquire that skill get the solve your own problem yourself it just you have to think a little bit right so uh, I would like to quote an example here from one of the movies uh, I think it's still available on either Prime or Hotstar or uh, yeah or Netflix somewhere it's called chopsticks there is a scene in this movie where uh, the hero takes the girl and somehow this dude lives in 20th floor of some under construction building and he takes her to the rooftop and they and makes her stand on the boundary of the roof so in in front it's just down they are seeing road 20 floors up and they're seeing down if you fall from there you're dead Now the question, now he t gives, gives her a problem. He tells her that you have to jump. If you're not going to jump within the count of three, I will throw you down from here and will never help you. Of course, you'll be dead. The girl is crazy. She is scared shit. She's crying, tears are flowing. The dude is also standing with her, holding her hand so that she doesn't run away. And he starts the count. Three, two, one, and they jump. The scene cuts and then it zooms back in they jumped backward that was a crazy 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 scene in that movie I just loved it who asked you to jump in front nobody's asking you nobody's telling you that you have to jump in front or in back or the side left side or right side the problem has been given to you that you have to jump so that the moral of this example was that in any given situation you have an option to solve it it just you need to figure it out you have to spend little more time than you think you have 
or then you think that you are spending yourself you just need to think a little bit extra in a creative way and you'll be able to solve it yourself that's the whole idea about this situation that was shown in the movie that whenever you you feel stuck think about it think about it in, in, in all directions and you will find a solution for it just just the way he showed it to the girl that you have to jump not necessarily that you have to jump forward and fall and die you can jump backward and be all cool about it <coughs> so that's why i i have spent uh extra time on the why factor of it right so we covered what we covered why and the third w is who right so it's very important again to understand who you are asking help you need to know your audience who you are going to reach out to to seek help if you are going and asking someone for money who doesn't have money where will he or she give give you from so you need to do your homework in understanding that you're reaching out to a person who has money who has enough money to give you uh, or lend you in in your situation you're reaching out to a person with coding skills mastery level so that they can help you solve your logical problem in your algorithm you're reaching out to a network specialist if you have a networking query you're reaching out to a mathematician if you have a statistical query you're reaching out to a certain individual who knows about the field that you need help in so it is very important that you reach out to the right people when you're looking out for help otherwise it's a disaster right now <coughs> these three w's are very 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 crucial when you're talking about or when you're thinking about asking for help this is all about seeking help from your side now there are two important aspect of seeking help uh, as well i want to talk about in this video it's going to be a little longer it's already 13 minutes maybe i'll edit few sections here and there and it'll be reduced but it's very important that i put these two things in perspective today in this video and they are number 1 most of the time we feel that uh, when we ask for help we are less in some way or form so please understand uh, it has been proved scientifically that when you are asking for help why i'm saying is the three 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 w strategy that i just spoke about kind can give you an idea in some way that maybe i'm asking you or suggesting you to not to go and ask for help it's not that it's just that you're you're well prepared and you're reaching out to the right person for help and you will get show sure short help from that person but but in no way or form you are less if you are asking for help please understand that it has been proven scientifically that when you are asking for help and if someone is helping you the person who is helping you feels lot bet lot better about himself or herself that day because they have immediately achieved fulfillment they are very happy they feel very satisfied because they have been able to help someone that's the crazy thing just help someone and you will feel it yourself so if you are asking for help don't feel that you are less in any way or form from anyone else it's just that you don't know how to solve the problem at that point of time hence you're asking from someone and by doing that you're giving another human being an opportunity to feel fulfilled to feel accomplished to feel happy that day so remember that and to end i would add something that is when you get help when you get help and you're able to solve your problem please acknowledge that in i'm not saying you should pay someone who's helping you but you should do them you should you should do something for them in 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 return you should offer your help in any 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 area any field watch whatever you can do for them so it's very important that you acknowledge 
not just by saying thank you but also by doing something for them you're also good at a lot of things so you can kind of offer some help from your side which is being grateful which is showing your gratitude towards the person who has helped you and please be respectful when you're asking for help uh, I'm not saying be polite and be kind of pleasing attitude I don't say that I never ask anyone to be to have a pleasing attitude you have all the rights to be what you are but you need to be respectful whenever you are asking anybody anything so please follow this strategy of three W's and remember that you are no less from anyone and be grateful to people who are helping you be respectful and that's it for today keep watching focus hive share subscribe and like comment get more people and we will rock